like a bow. So you want to learn how exactly what to say to make any guy chase, right? You want to learn how to do that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you the lines that I use to make girls chase. Okay, now the reason why I don't teach this often because if you notice, I don't teach this that much. I don't teach it that much. I usually teach the principles that naturally that naturally produces the words and actions that is are attractive because I feel like that's the best route in order to learn. But some people like the easy route. There's nothing wrong with that. We love. I use these lines for beginners in order to show them how it feels to have some sort of success, right? So I'm gonna show you five different lines. But before I say that, it's important that I make that I tell you guys this. Last week I went out with one of my buddies, right? We went out to day game in Philadelphia. Day game was when you approach the girls in the daytime. And I told him, look bro, it's not about what you say that gets the girls. It's about what you don't say that gets the girl. Right now, mind you, I'm not disqualifying the things that you say to get them attracted. I'm not disqualifying that. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you um, the concept that I want you to understand before I get into this. So I told him, all right, let me show you how I would approach without saying nothing. And mind you, it's not always that I could fucking pull off the silent approach, but it happens once in a while, right? So I saw a girl who looked like she was interested. I made eye contact. I gave her the, do I know you look? Remember what I, that I talked about? She was like, and then she was like, I was like, all right? She, she came over. I was like that, right? I didn't say nothing. She was like, she put my hand over here, right? Mind you, it worked because I gave her the, con the look of, do I know you? And I was like, and she was like, me? And I was like, and then she was like, okay, she started walking. Now when she's walking, now she's already committing, you know? So because she's already committing, she's going to inevitably go like that. I go, go like that, and she's going to put her hand in my hand, right? So when I went like that, I went like, hmm? And then I started walking with her, holding fucking hands in under like 10 seconds. Shit that takes, shit that takes two or three dates for some guys to do. The, unless, unless you meet them on Tinder, right? But I did, went like that, and we started walking. We walked for four, for four fucking blocks without saying a word. I made eye contact with her, like saying, saying this is funny as shit, right? I was smiling. She was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I was like, I gave her my phone. And I was like... She was like, oh, okay. okay, Right? Because throughout the whole walk, she was like, should I give you my number or something? You see, remember when I told you, make the girl interpret your actions? Don't be overt. Make them interpret. That's what I mean. Make the guy interpret what you're doing. Don't be so fucking straightforward that he can easily understand you. But I'm going to get to the point of exactly what to say in a second, right? So when I left, my friend was like, what the fuck? I never seen something like that. How the hell you got her, how the hell you got her number without saying a word, right? And I was like, bro, it's not about what you say. It's about what you don't say that gets to the woman's mind. And the same with men. It's not about what you say. It's about what you don't say. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean that having good lines never helps. It does help. So I'm going to show you what to say in order to get good. But the problem is that after a while, when you actually get good at this, it's particularly for guys, but for women, after a while, the, when you get this, you're going, to, you're going to not even use these. Like, I barely use can, I barely use, con, I barely use lines. Sometimes I do use lines, but, but, but because it's just part of my identity, like some things I just naturally say, you know what I'm saying? And so I barely use those lines. And so you learn how to attract women which is who you are, right? And so this is what I'm going to teach you, but for women, okay? So let, let's just start it. The first thing is, the first, kind of, the first kind of thing that you can say to a guy that to make him chase is a cold read. A cold read, right? Now, get, I'm going to get to this. A cold read is an assumption, kind of like saying you are this, you are that, kind of like what psychics use, okay? So for example, a cold read is a, let's use a routine that's called the coconut guy. For example, you tell a guy, you know what? Don't, uh, has anybody ever told you you're, you're a coconut guy? What guys will mostly say is what? What do you mean I'm a coconut guy? And then you just like, and then you just act like, get out of here, man. Like, you know what I'm talking about. The guy will naturally say what? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What do you mean coconut guy? Right? And then you just, and they just say, oh, such a coconut guy thing to say. Look away. Don't say nothing. And the guy's going to naturally say, what the fuck you mean? Right? Now, and the third time, you tell him what the hell you mean. Say that. This is the thing. This is how you can say it. When people, for example, like when people see you outside, right, you appear as though you're a tough guy. You appear as though you have your life together. You appear as though you're independent, right? But when you're around people, you're, when you're around people, you're more, you're more sensitive. You're a vulnerable person, you know? But there are certain situations that brings out the bad side in you that most people, mis that most people, that most people misconstrue as who you are, you see? And so I see that in you, and I can tell that you may give people some wrong, the wrong impression, but that's cool to know that you're actually a pretty dope guy. Right, and so that's a cold read. Like, like the reason why it works is because you're not saying this is who you are. I'm, you, you're saying that in certain situations you are this and you are that. First of all, 
people are always different in different situations. So by simply inserting anything, like in certain situations you are this, the guy's gonna agree. Do you see? And so that's a cold read. And, and, and on top of that, you're adding a compliment to it. And that makes guys, oh, damn, how the fuck you know that? You know, how the fuck you know that? And so that, gave, that makes like, holy shit, like this girl's different. And that's actually pretty dope. I like that. I really do. Um, okay, so here we go. All right, all right. So another one that you could use for a cold read is you kind of surprised me. Saying when you first meet the guy or midway through the conversation, it doesn't matter. But telling the guy, I even talked about this earlier. You know what? You kind of surprised me. And pause. You're like, what do you mean? No, I just, I just, you just look like you had a British accent. I just love British accent. I don't know why, but you don't. But that's cool, though. <laughs> you know, like, you kind of surprised me, like, you get his attention. And then you say you just kind of look like this, but you don't. Say, you, you kind of look like you studied this, like, something that you like, and then just say, but you don't. You kind of look, you kind of quality that you like in a guy and that you know he has it, he doesn't have. And then, and then you just say, but you know what, that's cool, though. You look like a cool guy. Right? You put his self-esteem down, and then you put it up with the statement of, but I like that. You're a cool guy. I want to know who you are. Make sense? That's a cold read. The next thing is a disqualifier. A disqualifier is kind of like telling a guy something that gets him out of your, gets him out of your radar. Like, kind of like saying, like, oh, man, you, you're a vegan. I don't date guys who are vegans. That's a disqualifier. Kind of like saying, damn, I fucked up. All right? So a disqualifier can be, for example, if he says something that's controversial or like kind of offensive, like saying, yo, fuck these bitches. You know, like, you know, like some guys say, like, oh, fuck these bitches, right? All you, what you got to do is right now when he says something that could be deemed as offensive, all you got to do is just say, wow, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think we should hang out. What the fuck? And then you just start backing up, like, I don't think we should hang out. And he just give him a, a cheeky look to you, right? He's just like, what? You being serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think we should hang out. You know, like saying that, like, when he says something that could be deemed controversial, right? And that makes guys say, like, what, what, what? Like the fuck and because he kind of fucked up he's interpreting he's like did i fuck up he's interpreting your, your actions right and that would make him chase um another one is like saying like you're such a nice person i don't i don't i don't, I don't want to corrupt you i think it's best that we go our way and finish it here like, oh, you're such a nice person you know what i don't think this is gonna work out i don't want to corrupt you get away from me get away from me and pushing him away like i don't think we should talk you know like saying like i'm gonna corrupt you you're such a nice person and so you disqualify them. And what's going to happen, the guy's going to want to qualify himself, make some chase. Um, another one is, man, if only you were my type. Like, damn, man, you, if only you were my type, my goodness. Anyways, to your topic. Like, oh my God, you, you love, you love, um, you love Seinfeld? Jesus Christ, if only you were my type, we would definitely get along. And just give him like a cheeky smile, right? And so these things makes guys chase. You disqualify them from getting with you. All right, ladies, so finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. This course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord, have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature. We're over four hours of content, right? 
the transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen, right? Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I could promise you, just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right. I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.